Hey everybody, I thought I would do a video on cover pages or intro pages. Um, so these are my October dailies. Um, this will be my fourth year preparing an October daily. Um, and I just wanted to show you what I have done uh, for the last three years and how I started my album. So I always start by... Um, adding some stickers to the spine and I think the most important part is the year. So um, you definitely want to make sure that um, you label the year on there so you know exactly what year what book you're looking into. So for this October daily I ended up um, gluing paper down to just a, a simple stories um, album and this was my first year. I really didn't know what I was doing. I hadn't even done a December daily, so I had no clue um, what this was about. Um, but I ended up making this first page here, and I thought it was fitting that I would include uh, my front porch and the, um, the little um, mat that we had into the entrance of our home. And then... As you can see, I had a craft date with my friends and we started um, using letterpress. So I thought that was fitting, you know, to beware. And then this is a third page that I created. Um, no tricks, just treats. And then the, the hand pointing to the haunted house. Um, and then I, I added October and the things that we were going to be doing in October. So as you can see, um, oh my gosh. And then I added another calendar. So October daily is whatever you want to do and however you want to make it. There's no rules in, um, you know, creating this album. Um, I mean, look, I have one, two, three, four five opening pages before I actually even get into my album. So that was um, 2016. Let's see what I did for 2017. Um, again, I just added stickers here to the front of the album. And this is another, um, I believe it's, actually no, I, I, I think it's um, Simple Stories. I can't recall, but here's my opening page and it's just simple. It's got the year and some stickers. I did some stamping um, and I just did happy October witches. And then here I have another opening page, um, which is the backside page two. And I just did some stamping. And then here I created a page um, on vellum evidence contents and then I have a little message here um, to my family uh, looks like I can't get it to focus but um, I just go into explaining um, how excited I am for Halloween and to you know show them um, this album and then here I go and it looks like I have tradition with my album so um, that is 2017. Let's see if I have my front door on 2018, which I don't think I do. No, I don't. Well, I, I can't say that for sure. Um, October daily. Let me get these out of the way. Sorry about that. So this year I laminated um, my cover sheet. And I went straight into uh, pictures and days. I did not, um, there's no message here. Um, but what I did for this year, oh, I'm sorry. Let me get to the back. Okay, so here is the back of 2018. And I just um, printed, I believe. Yeah, this is printed 
on um, vellum and then I burnt the edges and then that's where I you know put a little message to my family so that's what I did for 2018 okay and so here is 2019 and I don't have a message here so maybe I will go in and type a message here before I start or maybe I'll do it in the back um, I'm not sure yet because it's still August 31st I think so we have time and I just thought it would be helpful to show you guys what I have done in my albums so thanks for watching I'm super excited for October daily let me know um, if you have any tips and tricks for me on your opening page or what you do or um, do, do you put a message in the front or do you put it in the back I would love to know happy Halloween